Dear friend, have you heard about the Noahide laws? Please allow me to give you the background. Shabbat Lubavitch is an organization, but it is more than that. It is a philosophy and a movement. This movement is very forceful in Jewish life today. The Chabad Lubavitch organization was founded approximately 250 years ago. It is a branch of Hasidism. It began in Russia and spread through Russia. It went to other countries. The movement now has centers all over the world numbering approximately 3,500. The movement claims the Jews are to fulfill the 613 mitzvot that rabbis find in the Torah, while Gentiles, if they are to be righteous, must follow the seven laws the Jews claim were given to Adam, Noah, and then to Moses. These were passed down until they were codified in the Babylonian Talmud. The laws are, do not murder, do not steal, do not worship false gods, do not be sexually immoral, do not eat the limb of an animal before it is killed. That is, do not eat meat with its life blood still in it. Do not curse God. The seventh law, set up courts and bring offenders to justice. Each of the first six laws are broken down into sub-laws. A major country has already officially approved the Noahide laws through a democratic process. To find out the name of the country and to receive more information on the Noahide laws Please Google Noahide Laws USA Government. Why should Christians be interested in the Noahide Laws? We should be interested because believers of this age could be exposed to the Noahide Laws. Dispensational teachers claim that believers will be raptured before the Antichrist is revealed. But dispensational teachers are false teachers. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Thessalonians advising them that the Antichrist will be revealed before the rapture takes place. Listen to what he wrote. Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, we ask you, brothers, not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by some prophecy, report, or letter supposed to have come from us, saying that the day of the Lord has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction, 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 to 3. The Apostle John in the book of Revelation recorded concerning the Antichrist. He was given power to make war against the saints and to conquer them, and he was given authority over every tribe, people, language and nation. If anyone is to go into captivity, into captivity he will go. If anyone is to be killed with a sword, with a sword he will be killed. This calls for patient endurance on the part of the saints who obey God's commandments and remain faithful to Jesus. Revelation 13 7 and 10, Revelation 14, 12. If you are alive when the Antichrist is revealed and he enforces the Noahide laws, since they are already in place, 
Will you be faithful to Jesus? The Bible informs us about the Antichrist. He will speak against the Most High and oppress his saints and try to change the set times and the laws. The saints will be handed over to him for a time, times, and half a time. Daniel 7, 25. You see those who formulated and proposed the Noahide laws place their trust in monotheism, one God, singular. But born-again believers place their confidence in Trinitarianism, one God revealed in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. Faithfulness to Jesus could result in death. What about reading the Bible? What about witnessing? What about going to church? If you participate in those activities under court, the death penalty will be the consequence. Believers, be comforted by the words of Jesus. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Matthew 24, 9-14 Here is a warning to all people except born-again believers. When Jesus is revealed from heaven in blazing fire with his powerful angels, he will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with everlasting destruction. 2 Thessalonians 1.79 Please consider what you believe. Because if you die without receiving Jesus as your Savior and Lord, or if you are alive when he is revealed, and you have not committed your life to him, both resurrected unbelievers and living unbelievers will be punished with everlasting destruction. For more information on Bible prophecy and other topics, please visit my blogs, blogs.christiansunite.com slash mahabirjem and blogs.praise.com slash mahabirjem. Scripture taken from the Holy Bible, New International Version, used by permission of Zondervan Bible Publishers. You may use any version of the Bible. The concepts are the same. Thanks for listening. May God bless you richly.